Okay, let's go for episode three. Please tell me I actually saved. Pretty sure I did. I don't know why my computer is having a stroke. There we go. Just moving something so I could rest my legs on it. Well, we're gonna see if I saved him. <sighs> Computer's just having a stroke. So, don't mind that. Can you guys see that, too? Oh my god, you can. <laughs> Sorta. It, it, for some reason, just... Okay, oh, hold on. I'm gonna... Fix it. Okay, back to Mount Kraken Neck. What's the one fossil that I have? Oh, it's probably the droppings, yeah. Because I don't know where to put them yet. Yeah. Do you think someone would have tried the pickaxe? <laughs> he just goes back to it. <laughs> Chad, he's just like, no, I'm, I'm breaking it. Okay, at least they're hitting one spot repeatedly to try to break it. Oh shit. That fucker... How did you survive being punched by it? In last episode. How the hell... It's fine. <laughs> Our protagonist. <laughs> it's so cheesy, but you know what? We'll go with it. I, I like things like that. It's... <laughs> Look, I never said I'd play this game for the story. I play it for the comedy, frankly, and dumb ra Oh! Why is it always that whenever I leave off on an episode, we just immediately start with new level up? Todd's excuses are gonna get worse and worse over time. Still gonna be searching for, uh, jewels, because I need them. You know, kinda need jewel rocks. That's probably Sungiri's head, if I had to guess. Yeah, we got our guy from this area last episode. Hey, there's a jewel. I don't know what that one is.
some of them like Sungiri I really messed up the digging on so they'll probably have to get one in like one better from the digging robot and then just then we'll start doing donation points on those because some of the fossils in this game are really mean <laughs> Anyone who's played this knows that some of them can get fucking cruel. Okay, cool. Hi. Well, I guess that's pretty smart. I can break these? Neat. So... Uh, you know what? I want to ask you guys a question. What's a game from your childhood that you just love no matter what? That you wish would come back? That might not be the best game, but it's one you love with your whole heart. For me, this and uh, Golden Sun are those series. I wish Fossil Fires or Golden Sun would come back. Yeah, I'm always ready for combat. We still can't use Trima that much in battle. Scotty. <laughs> yeah, it turns out if you have a rich guy on the island, he kind of brings robots with him. The bone? Uh, if I, the bony swords are basically versions of other fossils except bones. Oh, okay. So I get to show this off. You may notice the super fossil in there. That's gonna be a mechanic we get to later. There's five different kinds: a silver version of each body part, which is head, arm, legs, and body. And then... I'm bringing you here. Crime is too weak to actually bring. Right now, at least. Later. I don't like the low health ones for this kind of run. At least their support effects are shit. So we're gonna see how much- Oh, they are close range, which is scary, I guess. That was a crit. And we do get 18 FP. One minute, please. One minute. I wish I had one. Well, actually, no, I do. Um, can I see their skills? Oh, just Bony Chomp. Okay. I'm gonna hit this one, because if I'm right, they're gonna shift out of this position. But we are going to get double chomped. Uh-oh, this might actually be rough if the AI is smart. They are smart. Uh-oh, this is rough. 
Okay, we need to switch them out of front right now. But yeah. We're actually gonna do this because it means while yes, Tricera is in range, it should live at least one. Though I don't know about two. Fuck, I forgot. Yeah, it lives two. Okay, so that's the last time we can do that. Okay, use this skill here. We're gonna charge for next turn. While weakening with Mother Slap. This is where the difficulty is going to become a lot more apparent. Okay, so they only aim for what's in front. Great. Okay, this... We're going to do this here. Should kill that in one hit. And now that they're down to one, it's easy to control this fight. Oh my god. So yeah, Miraculous Fossils can give a huge boost to a Vivisaur. Especially early on. Some fossils even evolve. And now at this point we can just spam our att weak attacks out and kill. There we go. <sighs> that battle is actually stressful. <laughs> that battle was stressful. <laughs> Yeah, I nearly got my ass kicked. Well, he's told dad, yeah, no, this won't work as a... Yeah. Thanks, I, I try. It'd be funny. <laughs> He's like, you're just like, shit, wait. Well, I'm really hoping for is that we can access some sort of new area so I can actually get another Vivisaur. That way I could have two teams of three.
Uh oh. Also, I'm pretty sure Nell's a character from the first game. But before I do that, I should. I should probably get a bit more levels from my guys. Namely, Trima and Anomalo. These two are. <laughs> yeah. I'll be back once they're leveled up a bit. See you then. I sure as I forgot to show this off last time. Uh, it's in the building next to the Fossil Guild. And then there's the Hair Club, which I still... I should probably show off quickly. I don't even know what it is, so let's find out. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure all the masks in the background were masks in the first game. Which I actually really like that detail. I'm pretty sure those are head fossils. I'm pretty sure all that's left here is head fossils, so that's new. I know what dark rock isn't anything I want, so we're going to just do that. Oh yeah, I can upgrade now. I'm actually going to grab the sonar upgrade for chip one. This will let us find legs. Or arms, not legs. Legs are the fourth one. No, I'm not gonna grind. Also, I'm not gonna grind a dropping fossils for three hours just to get that done immediately. Because you need a lot. Alright. Now I'll be doing this probably off camera. Because th this, if I remember, is challenge cleanings. Do this. And as you can see, you need a pretty high record to actually go anywhere in this. Of course, finding the breakpoints can trivialize some earlier ones. But I have a feeling it's not going to be that way for very long. Because eventually, breakpoints aren't enough to get you through a lot of fossils. As someone who tried to 100% this game as a child, there were certain rocks that I was just not good enough. But now... It, or rather, I wasn't good enough and I didn't find them enough to actually practice. So, yeah, I never got good at them. Oh, a diamond. Yeah, let's see. I just want to show this off once. Okay. Th that's a breakpoint I've memorized. Whenever I see a fossil in this sort of build, I immediately just check that breakpoint. Because if it's there... You just clean it for free. Which is actually insane. This is gonna be fun.
Okay, first things first. Okay, so it is a hard fossil. Wow, that's a low bar. You, I think you actually need super drill for that, because I don't think you can get it otherwise. Uh, I'll do this for a little bit, and I'll see if I can actually pass. Okay, so in between this, I actually upgraded my radar fully, and I'm in the process of just getting every single fossil from every area. I'm going to show you guys what a giant fossil is. This one's from Treasure Lake. I basically just spam hammer for these because you don't have much time these are clearly meant for multiplayer where you'd have two to three people cleaning it all at once of course I'm not two to three people and this one's one of the easy ones And you click down here to move. We're going to actually add more time. Because I already did try this fossil and failed it. So, yeah. And I'm just using this one as an example for all giant fossils. Come in with a couple time extenders is my tip. Alright, the reason I'm getting all fossils still is because I want to do all vivisaurs eventually. The only way I do that is to get all fossils. Okay. I'm working on fully cleaning this side and then moving on to the other one okay now giant fossils are rarer but yeah for some of the big big ones you're gonna need max time extenders This one's a long one, meaning it's actually significantly easier to clean. Okay, there we go. One, one or two I wanted to show down. You see, this is one of the benefits of upgrading your radar fully, is you can get stuff like this. gonna basically they get four body parts all at the same range and some of these designs are actually really cool this will also make it so if I uh, for whatever reason pick up a fossil I already have I can just skip the whole revival process and just grab it from storage because some areas do have fossils you already have and the other thing I want to show is wondrous fossils. There are four types of these. There's a head. There's a head, a uh, f body, arms, and legs. Now, if you remember right, there was that whole super... There were the gold fossils in the uh, bone igue iguanodons which gave them massive boosts these are lesser versions of that I'm gonna give it to Metro first 
Now we can get the gold fossils later. Speeding up. Based on the rating you get on the super revival, I think you get stats. He also looks different. You can get up to 20 HP, and each part has different stats. The head gives those stats at a max of 20, and then 5 on both the other stats. And I'll quickly show that off. Well, we're not getting the 20 because I like using my hammer too much. Yeah, but if you couldn't tell, these fossils are soft. However, unlike dark fossils, which are annoying, these have no restriction of you need to use something first. Making them actually not that bad. I'll probably just go head since generally the head is the best one, in my opinion. Its stats are just the best overall, I feel. Those being HP and uh, attack and accuracy. The claw is also very good, but don't want to use it. But yeah, this self has, for example, the drill cleans. So, yeah, I recommend you just use the drill on these if you want to max them. Okay, we are maxing it, so I don't care anymore. The bonuses to the non-HP stats are honestly the important ones, since even though they're really small number-wise, so are most bonuses to those stats. Let's give it to Anomalo. I like them. They're funny. It also changes the color scheme. As you probably could tell. Now he's purple. But yeah, I'm gonna be, uh... Still grinding every fossil, so I'll be back. I'm back, uh... <laughs> I didn't even get one place that I realized I might have... Uh, slightly overdone the... <laughs> My main three. <laughs> you, you'll, you'll see when we get into the fight. So I feel like if I have over. <laughs> also, uh, I'm banning gold fossil rocks for now. I'll, I'll tell you when that changes. But for now, we're banning them just because the stat boost would be too much. It'd be a way to trivialize every single fight. Oh, no. That's not... Prison from the first game. Yeah. <laughs> may, may have, uh... Done too much. You know, right? 10 and 12s. I am going to destroy this child. <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> she only has fire too, which makes it even worse. Like <laughs> Like l let's look at my stats compared to hers. <laughs> I'm confident that I could just click auto and win. Which, if so, I am so sorry for trivializing this fight. <laughs> oh god, yeah, I may have overdone it a little bit. <laughs> may have overdone it a lot a bit, actually. <laughs> Whatever, I never said this would be the hardest thing in the world. <laughs> I just thought it'd be a neat idea, <laughs> and then I accidentally did this. Let's see what it just does. <laughs> yeah, that's at close range. That's at maximum power. Oh, God. 
Just, just finish it, man. Oh shit, it lived. Oh, it's gonna live too. Wow, I'm impressed. I really do like running just triple mid rangers. You get some really cool comps out of it. Trima and the other one are still low rank because I, I don't think I need them. I genuinely don't. Fuck you, child. <laughs> Look, the bone bone sore fight scared me enough that I actually thought I had to level up a decent amount. Before I clean that, I'm getting time extenders. Okay, Rainbow Canyon. I'm gonna clean this off camera and then go there, so BRB. You know, I'm actually gonna show this off because I got some new stuff. Also, you can use arrow keys to move around. Namely, the Hyper Hammer and Drill. And Super Drill. The Hyper Hammer is a very excessive tool. I only really recommend it on giant fossil rocks or rocks that you know can take a lot of abuse. Such as diamonds, for example. Since diamonds are very hard, they can take a lot of abuse. So the hyper hammer actually works really well for them. Especially Colossal Dimes that you find in Dark Fossil Rocks. But yeah, as you can see, the Hyper Hammer is excessive. The Drill, however, is... In my opinion... We're just gonna quit now. Is one of the best tools in the game. Because it gives the Drill basically the power of the Hammer. Which is insane to think about. Knowledge use Pelay... Peloro. I just want to see how he looks. Oh, it's an ox. Just wanted to clean that before we go on. And check for quests. Do 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 do. I'm pretty sure I've almost maxed out the dropping fossil kit at this point, by the way. Because I've gotten the dropping mask. Which I think has something to do with that. Also, since I have a maxed out, uh... I did max out my sonar, but sure. Clean sweep two, we have to do. Ribular. Let's see, curious cleaning we don't need. So it's only clean sweep. No, we'll do curious cleaning too, because I have a bunch of uh, time extenders. And the super drill was the tool I was trying to get for it. Because of how it is. It's very good at cleaning fossils that suck ass with a uh, normal hammer, like this. However, we're actually going to start off with a hammer hit. To break away a lot of this starter gunk, as I'm going to call it. Okay.
Though, yeah, that is the downside of the super drill. It can very easily damage fossils compared to the normal drill. We're just gonna do super drill. Because it... Well, it does create a shitload of dust. Which is really annoying. I kinda feel like it's necessary to do. I'm actually gonna hammer that part away. But yeah, this drill's great for these cases. Oh yeah, now I can knock dust away by uh, hitting the hyper hammer on, on the nothingness. I always get overzealous with the hammers <laughs> for speed, but then it fucks me over. <laughs> Okay, we're only allowed to these very far away from the actual rock. Okay, that's enough hammer. Cause the hyper hammer also does a lot of damage to fossils. So can the super drill if you're not careful, though. So I'm not saying it's alone in that. Yeah, like that. Okay, no more hyper hammer. It is banned from this. We're using normal hammer since I have nine time extenders. And the hammer job is just to get the outer layer of junk off it. Okay. But yeah, because of how the super drill is. Sometimes it's genuinely better to use the regular one. Uh, it's like I uncovered the damage section and I was like, nope. And I know there's no buster probes in this that I can use. Because only certain fossils have buster points anyway. So far, my most successful attempt has been with drill only, so I think I'm going to use 9 to do this one, and just drill only it. Mm, I think Hyper Hammer spreading around slight damage on the outside of the fossil is fine. Okay, now we hammer down. Those sections. Now we go in and super drill them. We're basically just using super drill to get all this intermediary junk off. I don't feel like leaning forward and blowing into my mic right now, so we're doing the hammer method for dust. Uh, 
That was risky and dumb and stupid and I hate myself. Turns out once you fully upgrade your sonar... Oh, that was so close. You can really start getting money, so I don't care about wasting timers. Turns out... that dirt And obviously this is a lot easier with hand on a regular DS since you can much easily pick up the stylus and move it compared to moving a mouse I feel. So I don't have a drawing pad. Okay, there's case three. We need an 80 to beat that. What the fuck is case five, four gonna look like? It's gonna be a leg fossil of some kind. Okay, first let's test how soft the fossil is. Now this fossil's way easier if I remember right, just cause The fossil's way easier, it immediately just throws. Let's try again. Okay, so we should use the regular hammer for the rest. Yeah, the hyper hammer definitely isn't a tool for every problem in the game. Time extender it. It's using the regular drill. Because I don't want to damage it right now. Like the super drill would.
And that's why I was poking it instead of consistently going at it. God damn. Smaller fossils are really annoying to do. Just because it makes any mistake really... Like... Yeah, I fucked up. Oh yeah, I'll quickly show you what a hyper hammer would do on a on this fossil if I just used it instantly. Just for fun. So I'm not even gonna slow down. <laughs> Destroyed. Yeah, like I said, a hyper hammer, strong tool. Quite literally. I hammer this and this. And we're gonna leave that mill section for last. Since I feel like that's the section I'm gonna struggle with here. Okay, so that's part of it done. Oh yeah, reason I'm so liberal with the time extenders, like I said earlier, I have a lot of money, like I can full buy time extenders again if I need to. Okay. So I'm not exactly worried about them. Barely. There better not be a fifth one. Oh my god, how many cases are there? Most fossils are actually pretty easy, since it's a very big fossil, meaning I can make way more mistakes before it decides I've done enough damage. If I don't get this one first try, I'll just do the rest of these off camera. You know, I, I kind of knew that was a bad idea when I did it, but then I just did it. Hmm. Yeah, we're time extending that since I'm so close to actually getting it. Like that. 
We're just doing this quest. There's probably like eight. Uh, we can go for breakpoints here. Like that. <laughs> Easy. You just gotta know where breakpoints can be. You better not give me fucking dark fossils. I'm gonna be pissed if you do. Yeah, Super Drill is just too fast for regular dirt, but for, like, the more compacted stuff you see on some fossils. Done. Having a really easy time with this second set. Okay, it should be the last one. Don't be something awful. Oh, this is fucking baby mode. Okay. I hit all the breakpoint spots I know of, so I just decided to go nuclear at this point. Also, I don't think I ever said this, but this is like the one DS game that I feel like gets away with the whole stylus gimmick to an excessive degree because they actually put a lot of thought into it with having to clean the fossils. You know? Okay, that should be it, hopefully. I'm going to be BRB. This bitch goes up to 100. We're not doing that today. <laughs> I'll do that off camera. <laughs> that bitch goes to 100. Fuck that. <laughs> How much time did he spend doing that? Oh, you know, 20 minutes. Or I'll make a side episode out of just doing them all. You know? Because we've gotten to eight. Yeah, not a fan of how far that goes. At least for quest completion reasons. It's not completed until you beat 100. I think Heist the guy was give us 20 something. Yeah, sure. Dark for 60. Got it. <laughs> Just sees me brandishing the biggest hammer I have. Like, bro. What the fuck are you doing? But yeah, since the barrier for this is so low, I can kind of play Reckless. Oh, 
Also, yeah, if you couldn't tell by how I was doing on the, uh, other cleaning quest, I really hate those really weird shaped rocks. Because it just leads to a bunch of points where you can accidentally hurt the fossil. Okay. Don't care about anything above that. Curious for 65 or higher. This is a trilobite. Okay, okay, that one, that one I fucked up. <laughs> Pretty god awfully. Oh yeah, any weird rocks like curious or large don't have breakpoints. So don't worry about them for those. Instead, you have to clean them good. Alright, when I looked at the other side quest, fun fact. Uh, the last 16 rocks are all curiouses. Curious or large is mean you can't breakpoint them for quick and easy cleans. Which is really annoying. Come on, game. Okay, once I get to 65, I don't care anymore. Okay. You can get the rest. Giant for 70. So is this a long giant fossil, or is this a... Bit. It's long, boy. Alright, oh, you can use arrow keys to actually move around while cleaning giant fossils. That was a poor placement of a hammer strike. I should look how the head looks. I did not mean to use that. Well, we used it, so. Yeah, there's almost no way I'm coming back from that direct hyper strike. Ugh, that's annoying. It's fine. I'll get it this time. It's 70 I need to get. Okay. This is actually a fossil we can get in the next area, I'm pretty sure. You know, in the universe, someone could probably get really fucking rich by selling, like, a way to 
repair fossils mid cleaning. For people like me who want to just fucking hyper hammer everything because we're lunatics. Okay, if I fail, this time I'm gonna go and get some more, uh, timers. And I didn't. Cool. Cool, that should be this quest. And that's why I wanted to do it, to promote. This promotion means that we have access to more skills turn one. Which is pretty important to get. I'm still in speed up mode right now, by the way. Uh, you know what? I might as. <laughs> mm, do I want to leave this for tomorrow? Yeah, I think I will. I'm going to be done for the night. See you guys.